Hello everyone. As you can see, this is a 2021 Citroën Berlingo. I have been using it for almost two years now. It has a large interior space, a 1.5 liter diesel engine, and can run almost 20 kilometers per liter of diesel, which is very fuel efficient. The maximum torque can reach 300 newton meters, which is sufficient for many of Taiwan's mountainous terrain. Although it is not a four-wheel drive, it is enough to take me to most of the places I want to go. In addition, it is equipped with level 2 advanced driver assistance systems and safety devices. Because I am not retired yet and still working, I often need to go to the city where many parking lots are narrow and two big vehicles cannot fit. Moreover, sometimes I also need to carry passengers. Considering the parking space, I hope the interior space of the car can be as spacious as possible. Therefore, the Berlingo MPV is just right for my needs. In recent years, cars have been constantly evolving, from hybrid, electric, to some PHEV and so on. Safety mechanisms and handling capabilities have also been evolving. Therefore, in a few years, I may consider selling my current car for a newer model. Based on this consideration, I don't want to do destructive modifications in order to avoid the car being unsellable in the future. In addition, there may be changes in parking needs, such as changes in the number of passengers, or different outdoor activities such as camping, cycling, SUP, etc. Spending a lot of money and time on modifications that cannot meet my needs is a waste. Based on these thoughts, I have summarized four principles for modification. 1. Do not damage the original car equipment, and easily restore it to its original state after modification. 2. Preserve passenger seats so that the vehicle can have the functions of carrying passengers, cargo, and leisure at the same time. 3. Can be made by amateur enthusiasts with simple tools. Without relying on professional skills or equipment. 4. Have variability and flexibility to generate different modifications according to different moods, needs, styles, and functions. This Berlingo is 4.7 meters long and 1.8 meters wide, with a total of 7 seats. The middle 3 seats are independent and foldable. Simply press the button and the seats can be flattened. The last 2 seats can be folded and removed. Most of the time, I don't use these 2 seats. When needed, I can easily install them. When not in use, I remove these 2 seats and use them as a sofa at home. This way, we can basically make the entire floor flat. So. I have made an extendable mat to cover the unevenness of the seat installation holes. This was detailed in a previous video for reference. The mat can achieve a basically flat surface, but the comfort level is somewhat lacking. And I believe there is room for improvement in terms of aesthetics. Therefore, I further made a wooden floor, and I made two versions. One version is a horizontal wood flooring can be rolled up allowing up to five people to sit in the car and switched at any time. The other version is the vertical strip wooden floor, which can seat up to four people by folding. This is the version I prefer. Because most of the time when I'm traveling, there are no more than four people. So, I can carry the wooden floor by myself, place it in the middle of the car, and unfold it to the left and right. When there is a need to add more passengers, simply pull up the clasps to lift up the seats and increase the number of seats, which is very convenient. After finishing the wood flooring, the next step is to install the ceiling. This ceiling not only allows for wiring and lighting installation but also serves as a place to hang things. It can be adjusted flexibly and does not occupy the maximum headroom you need. A flat wood flooring and a ceiling can provide more space for changes in your car's interior. Then, we can add the things we want on top of this foundation. To make outdoor leisure activities more enjoyable, we need to prepare necessary equipment, such as warm clothing, food, and essential appliances. However, making these items readily available is not an easy task. Firstly, we propose a concept. That suggests the necessary items should be specially prepared for camping in the car, rather than using household items directly. Using household items would require you to repeatedly take things out of the car and then put them back when you return home. Which would waste time. 
Therefore, we suggest carefully selecting camping equipment and preparing them specifically for this purpose. Here's my preparation plan. First, when preparing equipment, make a list of everything you need and carefully evaluate and select them, such as small size and easy storage. Initially, you may use items from home, but when you confirm the need for a certain item, we recommend preparing exclusive items for the car to avoid repeatedly moving items, causing wasted time and problems with missing or forgetting items. By using these evaluation criteria, you can find the equipment that suits your needs and make the journey more comfortable. Secondly, to make the preparation for going out more efficient, we suggest organizing fixed equipment in the same boxes. Based on the nature of the items, such as food, clothing, shelter, transportation and entertainment, place items with the same attributes in one or two boxes. To reduce the time of searching for items, and facilitate the organization of equipment. Additionally, you can decide which boxes to bring based on the length of the trip and the location, making the preparation more efficient. Third, the concept of storage boxes are furniture. According to your needs, you can assemble, stack, and arrange the storage boxes to become the furniture you want. This not only saves space, but also meets your different needs. Having a home system that can be stored and stacked is a way to save space. When using modular furniture, it must be operated only when the vehicle is completely stationary. To prevent the boxes from falling or moving forward due to inertia during travel. Therefore, it is recommended to lay the stacked boxes flat and fill in any gaps when on the move. If necessary, a protective net can be added to secure the boxes. By taking these measures, we can ensure the safety of modular furniture while driving. Simple decorations can enhance the quality and style of your car camping, allowing you to enjoy your own car camping time. From choosing the desired style to leveling the seats in the car and decorating the ceiling, we can choose beautiful and practical decorations and lighting to create a design atmosphere. When car camping, no build build can also make the car decoration very stylish. You can change these decorations according to seasons and festivals to make the decoration more flexible and versatile. Next, I will introduce some functions that can be realized using modular cubes in the car. First, let us introduce the water tank and foldable sink. By combining a simple water tank with a USB pump and a stainless steel basin, you can create an offline sink. Without the hassle of wiring and drilling, it can easily meet the functions of washing and cleaning. Single bed. To avoid touching the damp ground at outdoor campsites, we can stack up storage boxes and lay a mattress on top to create a comfortable bed. Single sofa. Using four cubes and a cushion, you can assemble a single person sofa outdoors or in a car, which is a very luxurious experience. Table and chair set. Using a storage box to assemble a table not only saves space, but also makes it more convenient to access items. Cabinet group. When you want to have more space for activities like yoga, etc. in a car or tent, you can stack the storage boxes on top of each other to create a cabinet-like structure. This way, you can free up extra space. Foldable toilet. Most of the time, I use public restrooms. However, I have a foldable emergency toilet stored under the driver's seat. Just need to open and put on the biodegradable plastic bag. Ready to use. After use, tie up the garbage bag to prevent odors from escaping. Dispose of it when there is a garbage bin available. Foldable bathtub. Just like the foldable toilet, I have a foldable shower tub in my car, which is very compact and space-saving for storage. When I cannot find a bathroom nearby but need to take a shower, I can use a watering can spray bottle and take a shower in the car when necessary. Portable power. I use one of the boxes to store batteries, which not only powers all low-current electrical appliances like communication devices, but also provides power for portable air conditioners and cooking appliances, like electric cookers and kettles. Additionally, I installed a 370-watt solar panel on the roof of the car. After carefully calculating all my power needs, I installed a 2.5-kilowatt lithium-iron battery. 
that basically meets all my needs without requiring external charging. The above is my concept for the no-build camping car of Berlingo. You can unleash more creativity based on your own needs to make your mobile home more attractive. Through this transformation, we can easily turn a standard daily car into a comfortable camping car. In the following video, we will further demonstrate how to apply this concept to different car models, such as Toyota Sienna or Volkswagen Tiguan. Stay tuned. Alternatively, you can tell us your car model and we can provide some suggestions. Thank you.